You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about Kaylin Clark. And Christy Sides. Now, I told my wife yesterday as the Indiana Fever was wrapping up their big win against the Mercury, Brittany Griner and Diana Taurasi, that uh, it felt like the Fever won. And it feels like every time they win, they win because there's, in spite of their coaching. Uh, is that fair to say? Because I wasn't overly impressed by the coaching even yesterday. And then I sat back and went, at, towards the end of the game, went, well, why the hell is Caitlin out of the game? Well, because Christy Sides benched her again. Again, nobody plays as good a defense on Caitlin Clark as her coach does, Christy Sides. And it's got a lot of people wondering today, what the hell happened there? Because we know that, that Caitlin Clark had nearly had a triple-double. Nine rebounds. She needed one more. By the way, Wallace came in. I think she got three boards while she was in there. And I'm like, oh, well, there was uh, Caitlin's uh, triple-double right there. And she said she took her out because she wasn't feeling good. And I was like, okay, this is not making a whole lot of sense. And we'll get to her post-game presser. This doesn't make a lot of sense because she played five minutes more than anybody else while she was nursing a migraine and and i mean hell she was putting on a lot of smiles after the game so it's just odd she didn't show up to the presser all right because she wasn't feeling well and she said she wasn't feeling well the whole game okay fine but she subbed her out in the last minute and it's got a lot of people for lack of a better way of putting it dragging christy side's tail today she ought to be used to it by now. People are chewing her tail off all season. It's because she makes a lot of uh, damn decisions that makes you want to scratch your head. I'm still questioning the the love fest between her and the Chicago Sky coach that we witnessed last week. It's like, what the hell are y'all talking about exactly? You do realize that's the opposing coach, right? Then again, in this league, this weird sports league, Opposing coaches have dual press conferences and bring up Caitlin Clark anyway. What the hell is happening in this league? Here we go. So you played Clark like 39 minutes, and then you subbed her in and out a little bit at the end of the game. Any particular reason for that? Yeah, just working. You know, just thought I needed a defensive group. Defense was we needed to make sure we got stops, and that was that was what that was about. And how is she? Is she okay? They said that she wasn't feeling well. Yeah, I think she didn't feel well throughout the entire game, so she's with our trainer right now. Oh, really? Okay, so that left some people wondering aloud, was there something here that where they didn't want her to get a triple-double? Christy Sides didn't take Caitlin Clark out of the end of the game to help the Indiana Fever's defense. She took her out to prevent her from her getting her 10th rebound and a triple-double and embarrass her in front of a national TV audience. Fire this broad already. Uh, you can see that's not met with positivity by fans. A lot of people are wondering, what in the hell happened here? Okay. Clark would have been the first rookie triple-double in WNBA history. I mean, seriously, what are we doing? By the way, she leads the entire league in assist right now. I don't understand what it is that, that, that Christy Sides is doing at all. She subbed her out for defensive purposes, but if she really didn't feel well, and nearly dropped a triple-double, that says a lot. I mean, I, I'm, I'm baffled a little bit uh, as to what it is Christy Sides is doing. Could have subbed her back in, went up by five, could have had a chance for an important record. Sides could cost Kaitlyn Clark the Rookie of the Year. Well, she better not. She's better. She better not because I understand... There's a narrative going around out there by some in the media trying to push for Angel Reese to get it. Are you kidding me? Are we still giving her credit for 
grabbing three rebounds because she's already shot twice and she missed both of them, and she gets the third one back. She's literally getting her own rebounds back off her own misses. That's what Angel Reese is doing. And she's getting putbacks. It's crazy. Stop it. She can't shoot the ball. That's why Angel Reese is stat padding right now. Clark had nine rebounds, and Christy Sides claims she took her out for defensive purposes. Nine defensive rebounds. I just don't understand. A lot of us don't. A lot of us don't. Some uh, Somebody called this the flu game. Caitlin suffers with migraines. I, I, I do too. I mean, she may have had one. It just doesn't make sense when it doesn't compute when she's played five minutes longer than anybody else that at that moment you decided to pull her because of a migraine. I don't get it. I don't like to take Clark out for defense. Wallace is not a better defender than Caitlin. Clark gets boards and you want her to have the ball after the stop. Yeah, right. After what was somewhat controversial statement in the last one, she decided she was she just got to stay away from these wise move. Okay. I mean, a lot of people, folks, seriously. Why does Christy side sub Caitlin Clark out at the end of the game unless she's in foul trouble? She's one of the team leaders, steals, blocks, and rebounds. If on any planet sides thinks Wheeler or Wallace is better defensively, then Christy sides needs to get her head checked. I agree. I agree. Christy sides is on borrowed time, folks, in my opinion. There's no way. She's your best player. You leave her at least for rebounding and possible free throws. And it's only a few seconds left. You play her the whole game. That's a good point. The free throw thing is a good point because we know if there's a T or whatever, they've put her at the line because she's shooting what? 89% from free throw line? I mean, it's crazy. Someone must have told her how bad it looked to sub her out with a triple-double on the line. She played 39 minutes not feeling well, but that last minute, woo. That one she couldn't handle? That's her excuse for not get, letting her get a triple-double. How many more days until she's gone? This is a lie. Clark was taken out at, at the end of a close game like she always is not because she was sick. And it's an excuse. What does this tell you? And yet, Sides played her 39 minutes. It doesn't compute, folks. And I could have kept going. Think about it. I mean, what are you doing exactly? I feel like this coach is working against Caitlin Clark. It doesn't make sense nonsensical moves all over the place. In every game, there is something baffling with Christy Sides. And somebody somebody said it in there, and it, it feels right. You took her out. After the game, Christy Sides is, is told, you do realize you subbed her out. She needed one rebound. You better come up with something to CYA before you get to this press conference. Well, she she doesn't feel good. She was sick. She played sick. She played 39 minutes, five minutes longer than any other player, and you're saying you took her out in that last bit of time because she didn't feel well? Uh, Guys, let me just say it. Horseshit. I don't buy that. She knew she was going to get dragged or could get dragged She's getting dragged anyway. Man, if this team makes the playoffs with Christy Sides as a coach, wow, now you got to think about this. Let's say the Fever sneaks in. They sneak into the playoffs. You get another year of this coach if they make the playoffs. Just think about that because they're not going to fire, I don't think, if they make the playoffs. They probably should. Man, tell me what you think in the comment section. Is that was that move calculated by Christy Sides? Did she not realize it and found out after the fact? And now she's trying to cover her butt because she looks real bad 
Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.